this is a video that I've been so excited about making because we have been working on a secret project at La Land. Now, recently I've been able to show the other secret project we were working on, which was the Marquis sitting room, which looks incredible. My cousin did all of the paneling for it. We used the most beautiful wallpaper. So now one of the reception rooms at La Land is really looking exactly as it should in a chateau. But it's also important to think about the little rooms and to make those equally special. And in the winter salon, the room I'm standing in now, there is a little room that we wanted to make into a loo. It wasn't a very nice room. It has absolutely no natural light. It's tiny, had bare concrete floors. There was a step down in it. And because it was so dark in there, it was kind of scary not knowing where the step was. There was a loo, but no sink and we didn't use it. But I wanted to turn it into an absolute jewel box of a downstairs loo off the winter salon. And because there's no natural light in there, I wanted to make sure it was a world of its own. And I took as my starting point my father's amazing painting. This is one of his medieval style paintings and it lives in the winter salon. It's really one of the centerpieces of this room and I always wanted to stay in here. So I wanted the people who walked into that room to feel that they were stepping into the world of my father's painting, entering a kind of enchanted area within the chateau because I love making tiny little rooms very, very bold because I think you can make extraordinary design choices in them because you don't need to stay in them for very long. So it's not that overpowering, it's rooms that you visit just little bits of time during the day. So I wanted to turn this painting into a wallpaper for that room and I knew that I wanted to scale it up quite a lot more but I don't know how to digitize it, I wasn't too sure how to work out the scale for the room so I turned to my good friend Steve who is a graphic designer and also the owner of a beautiful chateau. He and his partner Sarah have a YouTube channel called Manor and Maker so you may already know them. Once we had his design Philip found a company in England that prints bespoke wallpapers and we chose the finish that we wanted, sent everything off to them and in lightning time it arrived at the chateau. <laughs> I've probably got butterflies. Oh. oh, how I wish daddy were here to see this unveiling. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, daddy never expected to see his painting scaled up like this. It's incredible. And it doesn't look bad scaled up at all. I'm amazed. Philip, Amory and I have now spent about half an hour trying to find the central point for the sink. And it is not as easy as you would think because it turns out, a big surprise, that there isn't a single parallel wall in this chateau. And we're trying to find the center point in a parallelogram. I don't think anyone's surprised. <laughs> no, at least of all us. So that's our sink line, is it? That's the top, top, top of your sink. Great. We, we have the mirror, by the way. If we could do that. Fact, should we now. bring it down? Yes. Let's bring it down. We'll get it. Philip, you think you have found a mirror oh, that's yes. going to work. Look, <laughs> 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 well, who's dangerous? So, um, it's actually this one, and it's original to the chateau. Well, it's a brilliant idea because it's got the height for the room, yes. but it's also quite narrow because it's not a big sink and, and we don't want to hide the wallpaper. Yeah, exactly. I really love the mirror. I love it too. I love the fact that it's original and I love all the... Yeah, it's an old one. It's got the split in the mirror. And it's not really doing much here. This one there? This one, I agree. Fantastic. This one's screwed into the wall, I think. Uh-oh. Yes. That's oh, every time we think there's a nice, easy job. Yeah, that's on brackets. <laughs> What, what is that look about, Amory? Is it too, too tall? Well, it's just not simple, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amory, if I went for simple in life, we wouldn't be in this chateau in the first place. <laughs> One mirror. I'm looking forward to seeing that in that room. I think Me it too. will make a big difference. Just trying a mirror in place. It's never just simple as it. Now we have to remove a wall light to make sure that it can go on the wall. Oh. Looks really good from here. Right? It it's looks room, very, room very good. Bigger, yeah. Which it needed. So now we're reusing things from the chateau that we don't need in other rooms. These are old wall lights, actually from Ikea, I think many years ago, but I think they're really pretty. I think they still said Ikea on them. I took the little I really label off. Think you're joking. <laughs> That's 50 now. Looks good. I like it. Looks Same. really good. And that height? Yeah. Thank goodness. Tomorrow we are filming the reveal of the downstairs loo. And today, late, finally, they have delivered, well, at least the radiator. Did it all arrive, cuz? Yeah. Oh, thank God, I didn't think the loo would be here. Yeah, I think so. That makes me so happy. 
You can see how excited we were when we first saw the paper. I mean, it really was extraordinary. But we had to wait then for quite a while because with the filming for TV, we were filming this for Chateau DIY on Channel 4 in the UK. And when we're filming for them, we have to wait so that when they come and film, for example, for three days, which it was in this case, they can come and see the room empty before any work, and at the end of the three days, have a reveal of the entire room, which means that we have to do entire projects in a very short space of time. We had to make sure that we had absolutely everything ready, all of the wood we needed for the skirting board, the floor tiles, all of the fittings for the loo and the wallpaper, everything there so that we could just go the minute the film crew arrived. And we knew that we had an epic task ahead, that we would be filming, for example, the first part of putting the wallpaper up on the wall with the film crew. But then when they went in the evening, we would have to actually finish all of the wallpaper so that the next morning they could get, ah, oh, they finished the wallpaper paper and now it's time to start the tiling and that day we would do the first few tiles with them and again throughout the night my cousin would be working on tiling so you will see all of that work that we were doing I filmed everything for you and here it is the day of filming and we start with Steve arriving to see his beautifully designed paper for the very first time this is Steve's oh. first view of the wallpaper I'm too excited for words I'm too excited I mean, I've seen it on computer, but now I want to be able to see and touch yes. it. Yes. Oh, the quality is brilliant. Oh, it is, isn't it? I'm so happy with the way that turned out. I'm seeing my father's painting in a whole new way. The nuances of the tiny um, paint strokes, because of course you can't see that. Absolutely. Small. Well, I saw that when, uh, like on this computer yes. screen, obviously, I was, I was blowing it up and you can see all that it's detail. Oh, I'm very excited. I cannot wait to see this in place. I can't wait to put it on the wall. I think that the texture gives it um, a slight tapestry quality. Yes, yeah, well, it's a canvas texture too, yes. right? So. Yes. But that works quite well for the medieval theme. Definitely. Steve, you did a great job. It looks so good. Well, thank you again for uh, letting me be part of it. <laughs> you get to walk into your father's painting. I think that is just such a great idea. It's really happening. The wallpaper's going up. We started it today. We were being filmed doing that, but we only managed to get three pieces up. It is very, very hard. There's just, just, oh. I think it's because it's so small. It's so tiny. It's so small and there's so many sort of little cupboards yes. and bits and, you know, if yeah. it was a big giant plain wall, it would be That's much easier. So much easier. And there's three of us in this tiny room trying to do this because it's three meter drops and they're well over a metre wide. It must be about a metre and a half wide. Oh, it must be. So it's very, very tricky, but we're getting there. If you want to see the little bit that we've done already. It's so gorgeous. Okay, right, here we go. Second pattern match, and it looks as though it's here. It's here. With that piece, that's piece number four going on, finally, from the doorway, if you go like this, you can't see that that bit's missing then, you start to get an idea of just the grandeur of this tiny, tiny room. And what I love is as you come in, I mean, this man is the same height as me. We're literally face to face. Face to face with one of the characters in my father's painting. Life size. This is amazing. Philip's up there doing the fiddly bit. And Jerry and I are smoothing, smoothing, smoothing. Trying to get every air bubble out. It's a quite beautiful paper to work with because it's so thick, which is really lucky because we've had to manhandle it so many times that I think a normal paper would have been disintegrated by now. Do you think, Gerald? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's the thickest paper I've ever used. Yeah, me too, it's by a long way. really the thickest paper. You know, see this room before we started? It was about nine meters wide. <laughs> I'm telling you how thick this paper is. <laughs> to give you an idea of the nightmare we're going through, Philip is in there somewhere. Gerald yes. is in here and I've got to come in oh, yeah. here because we're trying to pattern match to this corner. I have it together here, Philip. Yeah, I need, I need you to have two hands. <laughs> okay, two hands. Where do you want the other one? Uh, here, and this all needs to move up as well. Oh, okay, I'm pushing up. I think you're going to need two hands. Okay, I'm going to need two hands. Do you want me to push it up more than that? I think that will be I can't tell, honestly. I just can't. All right. I'm gonna have to. It's looking pretty good I to think me. I'm gonna have to cut a little bit. Okay, it's looking good to me. 
Okay, I think you need to cut some of the ceiling off. I know. I think you should cut a big bit of that ceiling off. I think so too. Oh, why don't you do that now? You can see where it goes up to. You can see you That's can take true. the lawn off. That's going to make your life so much easier. Because it's right heavy, that paper. You need the scissors? Uh, cutter. No, do it with the scissors. No, though. darling, I can't. Okay, you want the cutter. I think on that bit, scissors are going to be safer. Okay, forget I said anything. I should have done what I said. This is not easy. It's like working with Richard Button and Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're coming up to our first divorce, darling. <laughs> okay, lower it. Got it. Got it. Pass it to... Yeah. Give it to Steven Spielberg. <laughs> oh. Darling, are you coming back? I can't do this by myself, Seth. It's because I'm coming back! I know, but... Why did you go? <laughs> Take the thing away. <laughs> There's a foot of glue. Oh, no, no. I'm trying to get that. You see? Bend that way. Yeah, but I was trying to do the same thing, but now I have a foot of glue. Oh, there's another corner here. To be a dinner law of editing. Uh, <laughs> a lot of sound editing thing for getting on in this one. Just gonna put music over it. <laughs> a lot of bleeping. Uh, Did you know that looks brilliant? Oh, that's good. It's nice to hear positive feedback, isn't it? Look at that, Gerald. Look at that. that. That's a masterpiece. Oh, that would please me. Okay, that, that. All pretty proud. Good news from hell. All going very well. How are things in heaven? I wouldn't call this heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I think people are more cheerful in hell at the moment, Gerald. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, well, I'm in purgatory. All oh, the fun people are down here. <sighs> this is so annoying. It looks good. Philip, you're I doing see... a cracking job up there. When I seen the castle going up, I yeah. just knew that's it. You know that we were getting there. We're getting there. A castle in a castle. It's like a Russian doll, a castle in a castle in a castle. A castle in a castle in a castle. That was the hardest piece, I'm sure. Yeah. It's going to be plain <laughs> sailing. You saying that, you I know, know. Right? Everything that I was like, oh, so that was far. the hardest piece. Yeah, that was the hardest one. <laughs> so far. Uh, piece number six. Come to your thing, Philip. Do you line this lady's face up? Yes. In the hat? Okay, that I think is pretty good. Okay, this is too easy. Something's about to go wrong with this piece. I think oh, Stephen, let's, let's be optimistic. That was too easy. It's the box. Don't oh, worry. The box of doom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, we're done. Okay. Scared. Thank you. I am right handed. <laughs> my left hand. Do you know, I'll tell you, I think it looks bigger in here now. It's more crowded. That's because there's a lot more people. Now that I'm starting to see the end and the whole pattern's coming together, I'm, I'm really enjoying myself with you two. Oh yeah, no. it's been a lot of fun. Oh no. Well. That sounded as though it went well. Mm-hmm. But that's as high as I can see I can't see, see anything. There's the wallpaper. The rest of the wallpaper. <laughs> Gerald's a trooper. I know. It's because I live by a great Chatelaine. Uh, so how does it feel for the both of you to see uh, Derek's art on the walls? It's very emotional. Oh, this morning I was in tears. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, it, it's very emotional. I was 12 when he was painting it. And it was like, going back to your fairy tale story. Yeah, you know, daddy it. telling me a fairy tale story, explaining. Yeah. And I was just a little boy, absolutely overawed. And now it's as though it's coming to life. That's what mm. it feels like. It feels as though the painting's come to life. So I said again, cutting out trees. Cutting out trees, this is what we do whenever we walk over. <laughs> we end up cutting out trees. But to be fair, this was designed to be cut out. This is not us fixing a mistake. This one overlaps. It's the very last piece. And it's to ensure that we had enough give with the pattern. I have to say that I love what Steve did, his work on digitising this. It's been very intelligently done and it's very beautiful. We're on the very, very last piece.
and have a little look. I just love the entrance into the room. Lovely knees, Philip. Oh, thank you. <laughs> There's the last piece going on now over the door. It's the overlap that we had to make sure that we would have enough paper when the two edges met. Little forest and it is perfect. Philip, well done. Oh. Really amazing. It's a bit team effort. Yeah, it has. It's been a good, good day. This is a pretty spectacular downstairs, Lou. Day two, and we're about to start filming, and you finished. I love what you've done. I put the lights. Jill's put the lights up, but wait till you see the ceiling. Yesterday, Philip and I ran to get some paint that we thought would match the wallpaper, but wow, that is a perfect, perfect. match. It's going, going to need a second coat. Going to have to go and then That's totally cool. fine. And the lights look really good in here. Yeah. All right, I better go and start filming. Amory and I are going to be doing the tiling. So that should be a disaster. Poor Amory. I'm sure it would be much faster without me helping. I saw a blend in with everybody. Especially in that outfit, you're in the right colours. This is my sort of crowd. Hello, all right, Peter. Hello, Joan. And there's Mary. We're about to start tiling, but as with every job, it's just taking ages to decide exactly where the joint lines are going and how we're going to run the tile. They're very simple, they look like planks of wood uh, because we just want the floor to disappear so that we really focus on the wallpaper. But it's taking quite a long time to plan. So there'll be a cut here, then it'll be a full tile. I understand. Passing over the joint. There. Yeah, it's another cut there. So then we've got a cut there, and then we've got another cut there. So what I was thinking, is it not possible to have, when we have this tile here, full, so yeah. that one would run to there, yeah. and, and here, just over, and it would be the same tile, just with like a slit on the other side. So we're putting skirting in here, aren't we? We are putting skirting there, that can hide it. Okay, then, cool. Oh wow, I came to see if I could walk on the floor now this morning, and I think I can because Amory has started putting skirting in here. Oh, he is clever. I have a great cousin. What? What? Amory, that's how... <gasps> I have not seen many people make that effort with the corners of their skirting. That's proper oh. scribe. Oh, well, not that's proper. That's how you scribe. It's pro you, uh, proper scribing, that is. If I get in the sunlight. Wow. Is that, is that how you do your skirting? That's not how I would do it, no. <laughs> Yeah, me he neither. was horrified when I asked why he did it that way. <laughs> I am no, just cut it, just cut it like that. And just join it, no? just join it together. <laughs> it looks amazing. I mean, you can be really I'm, proud, I'm, honestly. I am tired. I, I'm not surprised. I'm a little bit stressed. <laughs> I, you haven't stopped. I know you've got stresses and responsibilities for all of us a lot, but. I feel if we lose him, that's it. The that's it. Over. The castle falls. No, yeah, it, no, is it actually is. It is. Yeah, it, yeah, it actually yeah. is. Yeah. It is, as always, with this project, the middle of the night. And the tiling is done, except for the grout. I think just grout to go in. Skirting boards looking stunning. We're revealing the bathroom tomorrow, and Amory is starting to move it in. So, the bathroom sink is going in, a basin. I love the colour of it. I mean, not the white of the basin, that's fairly standard, but I like the oiled bronze of the tap and the frame. Um, Just checking out the mirror looks good. One of the little lights we know has to move in a bit, slightly the, off yeah, centre. Yeah. Philip found this in the attic. This magnificent table has been in my childhood home always. Growing up, I've known this table. It's not very exciting. That's quite nice. You're more enthusiastic oh, no, about it than I am. They're not badly done. Well, we have decided that if we cut it ish in half, then it can make a little console for the room to be tucked just round next to the sink, which I think will look really good. Just round here, so that we have somewhere to put the soap, a little thing of flowers, a scented candle. Perfect. I still can't believe we did it. I can't believe that we managed to do all of that in such a short space of time. And the transformation far exceeded my expectations. It is definitely one of my favorite rooms in the chateau. And it was the one that I was most excited to show my mother. My mother had been away. She was stuck in South Africa during COVID. She was there for nearly two years. And finally she was coming back. And this was the room I was most excited to show her because she adored my father. We, we all did. And he died sadly in 2009. And I know how much he 
would have loved to see this project. And for her to see his paintings becoming part of the fabric of the chateau was very, very exciting to me. Here's the moment when I first showed her. You ready for the big reveal? Big reveal. It's the downstairs, Lou. Oh gosh. The other oh, downstairs, gosh. the second downstairs, Lou. <laughs> yes. Okay. Right, wait, I'm gonna put the light on. Shall I close my eyes? Oh, that's fun. That's fun, it's lovely. Oh. It's amazing, isn't it? Yes, and yes, yes. And what is incredible and what absolutely blows my mind is that Daddy's painting was small. It's this sort of absolutely. size. Absolutely. And yet, when you blow it up, this is the quality. It's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, this is the quality. And he did that in tiny, look. I know. Still perfect, the iris, yes. everything perfect. I know. He was it so is beautiful, talented. isn't he? Yes, it is beautiful. Yes. I mean, it's a bit of a pity that it's a downstairs loop, because I could sit in here for hours and look at this. We reused a lot of things as well, so that uh, this, I don't know if you remember, this yes, was your old table, yes. which Amory cut in half to make it into a console. Good baby. Because I know that we would have sent it to a exactly. uh, charity shop exactly. otherwise. Then we have this mirror, yes. that used to be in Tour de la Tour, right? yes. which is far right. too small for the yes. room. These we had got in Ikea years and years ago, and they were, were never Nick's. used. They were in Nick's bedroom. Ah, yes. So they've come down here. Yes. So we've been poaching That's good. the whole chateau That's good. and clearing other areas. And do you see how the ceiling is red? We couldn't get it colour matched because the colour matching machine was broken. Okay. And so Philip and I looked through all of those swatches that yes, they yes, had until yes. we found the closest match. And I like the radiator. <laughs> I think it it's works nice, well it? with the painting. Very nice. Yes, this is a great improvement. It's one of my favourite oh, well, I mean, just, And does it work? It does. Can you try? It works. It's beautiful. As you can see, my father did a lot of other medieval paintings and maybe we'll do something exciting with those one day. And this is my father. He did not paint this painting. I don't think this is the best painting in the world, uh, but it's very dear to me because it's him. Now in this chateau, just as in Narnia, behind a very unassuming door, you step into another world. And the door will be even less visible in future because this is going to become the library. And the long-term plan is that the bookshelves will carry on absolutely across here and it will be a hidden door within the bookshelves. So let's step into the world of my father's painting. to have finally been able to share this room with you all. I feel so close to my father in here and I wish that he could see it. I hope that he can somehow. I know that he would love it. Another room is finished at the chateau. There are still many, many rooms to go. And I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons. Because of you, we're able to transform La Land in this way and to add mystery and intrigue and fun, as well as beautiful classical renovations inside the chateau. The next big project is the Grand Salon, where we're installing 18th century panelling that was taken from an hôtel particulier in Paris, and it's going to transform that room. If you want to follow along with us and see those renovations as they happen, then you can subscribe to this channel, and if you click the notification bell, you'll be told whenever we upload a video. And if you like this video, then please click the like button because it helps us enormously with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much, all of you, for watching, and we'll see you on Thursday in the Chateau Diaries.